Something that's really interesting here, something that you need to appreciate is that, and I'm going to use this as an example, right? This uh, map here. Uh, what's interesting, right, about this reduction in the number of pixels is, if you think about this, right, when you change the color space, like if you're changing the color space from um, RGB, for instance, to one bit monochrome, to a certain extent, you are compressing the file, you are reducing the quality, right? But you're reducing the quality in, in a very interesting way. It's true, you're reducing the number of pixels by using a different sort of bit depth. So as opposed to 24 bit representation, you're using one bit representation. Observe, if I, if I come here and I say, I'm going to, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to export this, and then I will dump it into, uh, I'll dump it into, uh, into, Documents, work, I'll dump it into here. I'll call this uh, final export, and then I'll call it dash RGB. Not RGB, RGB, right? So I've exported that. I'm, remember, I'm not, I'm, not re I'm not scaling this in any way. I'm not like, because you can, you can compress an image by, by scaling it, right? So you reduce the dimensions. So this particular image is like a 785 by 619 uh, image, right? That's a resolution. But, but I, I could compress it in such a way that I reduce, right, the resolution to something much, much smaller. What I mean is I could reduce this resolution so that I use, uh, um, let's say, a width of um, uh, maybe 300 or something pixels, right? And uh, I will, um, I'll make sure that... Uh, uh, it's automatically resized, the height as well. This is a form of, of, of compression as well. I'm reducing the quality because I'm, I'm reducing the dimensions here, but I'll, I'll undo this. What we're talking about here is the part where you are, you are, you are compromising the quality or reducing the quality by using different color spaces. So RGB, and then I will use a GIMP feature that allows me to change the color space. I'll switch to grayscale first, right? And then I will export this. It's the same file for my PNG, right? This is grayscale. I will export this. Same default options here. I'll undo this to the original, and then I'll again, um, I will again uh, uh, alter this in such a way that I change it from RGB. Notice on the top here, right? It says uh, RGB here. From RGB to Index, I want one bit monochrome here, right? It's a one bit palette here, classic black and white. I'll convert this, and then I want to export this again, right? Export as, I'll name this, uh, I'll just name this uh, monochrome or something, right? Same options. Now, technically speaking, what we've done here is we've, we've uh, Compromise the quality, right? But we've compromised the quality by reducing the, the number of bits used to represent a single pixel. The resolution is still the same. And we know this is still the same because if we go to, if we go to, uh, if, we, if we, I'm just going to close this and I'll discuss, discuss the changes and then I'll go to the location, which is, uh, it's going to be, I think it's in documents, work, 2021 in here, right? And then I'll open all these three images. I'll start with black and white, right? Which I've opened. And then I'll go to grayscale. Yeah. And then I'll open the RGB, right? A true color. <clears throat> so for starters, I want you to take note of the fact that uh, the original RGB file had a size of, I don't know if you can see here, 172.4 kilobytes. Grayscale has 77.4 kilobytes, right? Black and white has 24.6 kilobytes. Clearly, the reduction in the, um, the reduction in the quality has a corresponding reduction in the size. This makes sense, because we know that if we're 
compromising the quality by changing the color space or the bit depth in this case, um, then the size is going to reduce. This is eight bits, this is 24 bits, uh, this is one bit, right? Um, but what you notice is that the resolution, right? Observe, if I go to image and say image properties, resolution 785 by 619 for this black and white. I'll close, grayscale resolution 785 by 619 pixels, right? True color or RGB resolution, still the same, right? 785 uh, times 619. Is this making sense, right? So again, yes, you reduce the quality, you reduce the number of pixels, 